Welcome back to Fruling on Farming Simulator 22 for episode 5 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's 10 to 5 in the evening here on Fruling and I'm doing the harvest contract I took on on field 13? 13? Yeah, field 13. I also forgot the south of here, just across the road there, we own field 14, which has got oats in it, <laughs> which I'm going to have to do at some point. I bought both trailers because I think we're going to get a fair bit. Now, while we're down here, I thought I would point out something. Something uh, that the model farm covets, and we're going to try at some point to get enough money to buy it. Here, at the restaurant, they have this. It's their kind of signature the little Porsche that sits outside. It's lovely, isn't it? We're going to try and get to a point we can buy it from them, or barter it from them, or and just to have it at the farm. It'd be absolutely lovely. So yeah, that's what something we're aiming towards. But what we're going to do is going to be getting dark soon. Uh, during the last episode, looks like the lights are flashing. Is any full? I was going to get some um, fertilizer from the feed supply. I also need to sort out a new slurry spreader. So we're going to look at um, swapping it out. For a better one one that works but we've got loads and loads of slurry it'd be mad not to utilize it so we just it, for some reason it just wasn't spreading properly i'm not entirely sure why uh, so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go into here and this is what i was talking about these ones here we want a fertilizer palette which is Canola, maize, oats, potatoes, soybeans, sunflower, wheat, silage, straw, sugar beet, sugar cane, fertilizer. There we go. 1,000 for 5,000 litres. Uh, can't odds that price at all. So we can get one pallet. It's going to last us quite a while. We've only got small fields. So we're going to buy that. What I'll do is we're over with the flatbed trailer. We'll get there's a forklift truck at the store. I, now, I haven't updated this map, same as Carmston. Both of them need updates. I haven't updated them because both of them need new save games. And because I've done a little bit of tweaking here and there, we've done some work already, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to go... I've done it so many times on different maps, and I'll be honest with you, um, as I've mentioned in the last couple of videos I've posted about my back, um, sitting for prolonged periods... It's proving difficult, and I'm in a bit of a dilemma at the moment because Carmsden, I need to wrap up. I'm kind of coming to the end of Carmsden, and I'm ready to start my new Let's Play, and it's not what people think. Um, or anyway, a couple of people spoke to me, and I told a couple of people what I was thinking of doing, and actually I've changed my mind. <laughs> um, but the thought of sitting for a day, having to redo all of Carmsden Farm again from the update and resetting everything and rebuilding the quarry and all that, at the moment I can't even contemplate it. And I'm also at a point where... Sorry, farm dog's having a great old time. Um, sitting while I'm doing stuff and my back's hurting. I'm taking my painkillers, it just doesn't seem to be doing a lot, but I'm supposed to take them over a prolonged period of time. No, not that one. That one, there's that point, dragging them both around with me. It's concentrating. I'm, I'm finding, I'm trying to work out in my head what I need to do, what I'm going to do next, where I'm going to go, and, and obviously when I'm doing stuff like this, and kind of the logistics, and I always say about the jigsaw puzzle pieces, you know, when you're setting things up about doing one job into the next, into the next, and all linking together. I can't even get my head around half the stuff. I'm, I'm trying to work out what I want to do and when. And it's, it's just proving difficult. And I know a lot of people have said, don't worry about it. You know, your health's more important. Don't worry about making videos. Just re relax, rest up, get better, and then worry, and worry about it. And again, I'm just explaining. I'm not complaining. Um, I said this before when I had the, the dreaded um, Lurgy, when that was doing the rounds, and I had that twice. It's doing what I do now because this is my job. I'm self-employed. If I don't make videos, I don't earn money. <laughs> I don't, can't pay the bills. So my daughter said to me, Celia G was frowning at me, she wasn't very happy with me this morning. I had quite a bad um, back spasm last night, I was in quite a lot of pain. And uh, my wife and Celia G said, tomorrow, rest day. And I've come down and I'm sat and recording. And uh, yeah, Celia G came down and said, what are you doing? I said, I, I've got, <laughs> I have to. <laughs> don't really have a choice so I'm gonna leave that running now until that fills up again 
I'm going to go and grab, the, like I said, the flatbed trailer, whiz over, use the forklift at the store to put the pallet on the trailer, bring that back to the farm, and we'll unload that. And then we've got fertiliser that should last us for quite a while. And then tomorrow morning, we're going to be getting on with sowing. Um, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to do field 14 off camera yet, but we're going to get these two fields um, done, the ones that we've already prepped, and we'll get those fertilised again. Oh, that's the other thing I need to do. I completely forgot. We need to exercise the horse. We need to exercise hope. You know what we should call the horse? If we get another one, we call it caution. Then we can exercise caution. Mm -hmm. There's your dad joke for today. You are welcome. See, I can even, I can still think of dad jokes. You know what? Let's have a bit of a whiz round while we're going. This doesn't want to turn. Come on, turn the horse. So we'll exercise the horse. Um, the oats we take off field 14. I'm going to put in storage for the time being. Um, for feed for the horse, we might sell some of it. We'll see how much we get off the field. I'm not too sure how much we'll get. I should be wearing riding gear, really. I probably should have gone and got changed. But anyway, so what I will do is I will see you in the morning. There might be a slight little, um, like a, a silent clip. ASMR. <laughs> there might be a silent clip of me just collecting the, uh, the pallet of fertilizer. I suppose I could just pick it up with a forklift and drive it over. That would make life a little bit easier, wouldn't it? But then I don't suppose I mean, it's not my fault that it belongs to the farm. It belongs to the uh, the store. So well, as long as we bring it straight back, it's not like again because the maps are small, it makes life a lot easier. It's not like we're taking it miles and miles and miles. You know, we're just we're literally right next door, you know, one field over, and that's the farm. So anyway, I'll see you in the morning, and we will get the sewing done that we need to get done, and then we'll go from there.
It's a glorious morning here at the model farm and boy have we got some work to do. You saw I brought the pallet over. The pallet is here. <clears throat> that has given me a slightly a slightly naughty idea of something we could do to improve the financial situation of the farm but we'll get onto that in a little while we have got our own fields that need sowing we have got three contract fields that need sowing and a baling contract has come up so what i want to do is get one of these ones done quickly and pick that up because i want to do that possibly the next episode we'll see how we get on with that um our as far as our productions go our silage in our fermenting silo is done it's all there 67,000 litres we've got our bales of straw we've got our bales of hay we've got a little bit of loose hay and we've got a little bit of loose uh how much 18,000 and 20,000 litres of straw in there because we need to do some total mix ration the cows are on red now the chickens i'm not going to do yet like i say there's a reason for that regarding the availability of the um the feed supply stuff that we, we can do. Let's grab that. What I'm going to do as well... Oh yeah, the greenhouse. We need to go and check the greenhouse as well because I think we're probably going to have a couple of pallets down there. So I want to get some sewing done first. Actually, do I really want to use this for doing the sewing? Because I'm going to need this for picking up pallets. I just keep falling back on the Valmet. We need more tractors. We don't, we don't need more... I mean, it'd be nice to have more tractors, of course it would. There is our home for abandoned tractors, after all. Let's look at that, pull that out. So that will go down to the greenhouse, we'll collect from there. I've got the Massey on the fertilising, it's the fertiliser spreader, so that's going to be... We'll get that onto the fields once the sowing's done, that'll be our fields, of course. Um, and then we've got the beast here. Do we use the beast for doing the sewing? It seems a bit overkill, but it's the one that it's the one we've got available at the moment. So you know what? Uh, we'll back up. In our fields, then, I haven't done oil production anywhere, so I think we might do canola. We might do sunflowers. I think. Uh, let's stick that one on first. Oh no, I still was going to do one of the contracts, didn't I? The contracts are barley, 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 and oat. Uh, doesn't matter, field 7, 8 and 9. Let's see where those are. Should be right next to where we are, aren't they? Uh, 7, 8 and 9 across the road. Okay. We'll do field 8 first, I guess. Well, yeah, let's do field 8. Um, this has been recorded <laughs> in two separate stints, I'm not going to lie. Um, I got about an hour into recording yesterday and, oh man, I just couldn't sit just could not sit any longer i know people are frustrated i know people aren't happy what well, we've got 402 liters and we're doing barley we have got seed in our seed tank i think seed in the seed tank let's go and double check i'm sure we have it's not going to last long but it will last this was out to field 8 oh the other thing as well is we managed to swap out that um, slurry spray that we've got we've got a Marshall one the one we have is a 6,000 litre um, this one's an 8,000 so we've gone up a little bit but financially we, I mean, we're doing okay we are into September now like I said each day is a month so we've got to look at the fact that this is all the work we're doing in a month technically so yeah, we've got that, the Marshall ones over there. We'll collect that at some point because like, we've got all the slurry. It, it would be churlish not to use it. This is for eight here, isn't it? Um, yep, and we're on barley. Once I can get this going, we'll whiz down and we'll get the, um, go and get our lettuce. We can take that and sell that. And then what I'll do is I'll talk about what, what I'm thinking. Um, with regard to what I'll do is when we get onto our fields I'll do our fields but I want to get one of the guys one of the ladies I mean all guys so we go hey guys it's not just the men is it let's be honest um, right so that's doing that 
Yeah. Um, yeah, what I'm going to do, what, what my idea is, and, you know, it is, it is a little bit, it's all based around the fact that we've got a cheap product available. If there wasn't a cheap product available, it wouldn't work. It's like anything, isn't it, you know? It's when you've got a product that you can buy cheap, sell for more money. I mean, it's how commerce works, isn't it? Buy cheap, you know, sell in quantity, make a load of money, or put the price up and make a load of money. That's how everything works. Which is kind of what I'm thinking. So we'll whiz down. Great thing is walking anywhere. It doesn't take too long. Um, right, do we do the total mix ration now? I think what I might do, we'll go and grab the lettuce pallets. We'll take those. Where's the best price for lettuce at the moment? We'll take the lettuce and then we'll sort out the total mix ration. We, yeah, we've got a ton to do. Oh, there it was. Uh, 2697. Supermarket seems to be the place we're going to all the time. I mean, 2644 at the restaurant. Not a lot of difference in price between the two. Maybe we could take it to the restaurant. Maybe they could do with some lettuce today. Uh, let's start doing that. What is that. Let's get down there. So, yeah. So the thing about it is, at the moment, I've got some wheat in storage. They're feeding the chickens. And we've got, from the contracts we've been doing, I've got oats in storage, which is for the, for the horse, for hope. Well, I exercised yesterday, so that, that's good, but we will need to exercise again today. I haven't done any real, I haven't done any horse work since the game came out. Now, bear in mind, we're what, May now. It came out November. I haven't done any stuff with horses at all in any of my Let's Plays. What I am really happy about, um, which makes a massive difference, and you wouldn't think it would, but it does make a massive difference, is if you open the help window, top left, when you're riding the horses now, it tells you the percentage of the riding done. Which it didn't, it never used to in FS19, which I always thought was a bit of a pain. Whoa, hang on a minute. Oh, we've gone for a month, haven't we? It's because I'm calm, so now I'm sitting two day months. Oh, that's a lot of lettuce. Are we going to get it all in? We should do something. Oh, that's fantastic. Right, let's pop that in there. Yeah, so the thing about it is, because we can buy certain products, for a thousand for five thousand litres. Um, that means that if we sell the products that we're, re we're replacing them with, if you go with me, it kind of works. Um, so, for example, we let's just I know it's, it's, it's a little bit. Um, some people have already tweeted what I'm talking about, and I, I just want to. So, yeah, we got. 7,250 litres of wheat, which is selling for 9.07 at the supermarket, so not quite a thousand. So we'll get maybe 6,000 for that, right? So we've got 7,000 litres. If I sell that, and the same with the oats, the oats are selling well, nearly 1,500, well, just under 1,500, cereal factory 1,432. If I sell all 13,000 litres of that, to replace that, I would only need to buy three pallets of um, oats from the feed supply, from the pallet supply, which would cover that. That would give me 15,000 litres of oats, and I've only spent three grand. So I can make money on what I've got there and then buy it a cheaper version of it. Yes, I'm feeding my animals a cheaper quality product, probably, but and the same with that. To replace that, one and a bit pallets, but I could buy two pallets, and I'm still going to make money. So we can sell the product we've got and buy a cheaper product. That, that makes sense, doesn't it? I was just thinking, if we go along to the pallets, it does, yeah, a wheat pallet, 1,000 for 5,000 litres. And then we've got, oh, we've got straw pallets as well. That could come in handy for making manure. Um, what was the other one? Oats, there we go. 5,000 litres, so three of those, three grand. So what I might do is sell all the oats, buy some pallets, and yeah, so I might do it that way. You know, why not? If we can get a good price for our product, because we're producing a good quality, high quality product, and then buy essentially animal fodder feed, we're buying a cheaper quality product to feed the animals, why wouldn't we? Because it's wrong. Well, maybe not. Maybe. Oh, we're going to do alright at this. I was coming down here thinking we'd have a couple of pallets. I, it didn't even dawn on me there'd be this many. So we'll take these to the uh, restaurant. I 
just be the trailer with the turbines. Or just push the whole lot down, maybe. So I'll see you in a minute when these are loaded up. You don't want to watch me just load up the letters. Do you? Or do you? Yeah, because we've got just down the road, we've got the manure plants, which you can provide. I'm sure it's straw. You provide it with straw and we get manure out. So again, if I buy pallets of straw, although I can, I think I can buy pallets of manure, can't I? So yeah, maybe that's not necessarily such a good idea. Although I'm sure it's a, is it a one to, it's quite a ratio. Hang on, let's go and check that as well. Manure factory, I'm sure it's a one to four. One to three. Actually, no, that would make sense. So if I buy one pallet of 5,000 litres of straw, which I can for a grand, that'll give me 15,000 litres of manure out. Again, no brainer, really. It's sound economics is what it is. Why not? I've been thinking as well, like I said, I've been alluding to all that other thing as well, all the, all the news yesterday, all the stuff that came out from Giants. If, if you are unaware, Giants released some information yesterday, a bit of a teaser, and there was a code, like a binary code thing, and it was T-7. Uh, so the intimation now is, in a week's time, next Tuesday, uh, on the 17th, is it? Um, there's going to be, now, They there was some information and a little short video that went with it now, there's a new manufacturer coming to the game. Straight away, when I was talking to Mr. CDP, I said, it's got to be Kibosa. It has to be. A couple of people have been doing some digging, and I think someone's come to the conclusion that some of the information on the video is some of the Kubota, um What's the word I'm looking for? You know, part of their... Who they are, you know, when you have the whole... You know, the corporate... I'm going to say buzzwords, I know it's the wrong word. Um, and I think it's Kubota's kind of thing. So I, I get the impression everyone thinks it's Kubota, or that, that's, what, that's what the buzz generally is. So, now I'm not sure whether or not the teaser is saying that in a week's time they're going to announce we're getting Kubota, or in a week's time we're getting Kubota gear. I think everyone seems to be assuming we're getting the Kubota gear in a week's time. I'm, I'm sure when I kind of first read it and then watched the video that they're saying the announcement. But anyway, regardless, and again, it might not be Kubota, but we're getting a new manufacturer coming to game. If it is Kubota, absolutely fantastic. Japanese manufacturer. They've been going for... God, a late 1800s? I'm sure it was... Kubota started off just making like cast iron, pipe work and stuff like infrastructure type stuff I think. Then they moved on to making small diesel engines. I'm sure that's Kubota. I do little bits of research. I've ended up showing me doing it anyway, so anyway, regardless, I'll take this to the restaurant. <laughs> Make a bit of money. Hopefully by the time that's done, the contract bill will be done, we can get paid for that. And then we'll take on the bailing contract, which I'll do at a later date. But yeah, anyway, so... Anyway, the Kubota, yeah, that kind of, that, um, went off on a slight tangent, but what I was going to say was, let's put front lights on, going to blind people behind us, is that I've been thinking about, like, my next Let's Play, I kind of mentioned it, and alluded to, now, I was initially going to go to Stone Valley, and do an American Let's Play, that was what was in my head, I'm going to go, and do that, but I've changed my mind, and the one I've been thinking of doing, I did a map tour, just the other day, we're going to head west. Not from here, from Carmsden. But there's no contracts available. So for me, that's massive. No contracts. No contract let's play. So how do you make money? By doing things like this, like what I was talking about. The, the economic tweaking, buying stuff cheap, selling it for a better price. Greenhouses are a great way. But a bit of forestry, which we're going to be able to do to start to build up to a point where we can buy some machinery, get some groundwork done, get some land done, then get some fields planted. But we need a way of making money before we can even get on to doing any fields. That's just the way it's going to be. Um, is the cell point just at the front here? It's not around the back. This is the restaurant, isn't it? <laughs> I said that earlier, didn't I? We're going to the restaurant. It is. 
should have just been coach, shouldn't it? There we go. That's all right, isn't it? Okay, we're getting somewhere. So I think I'll do. We'll get some sewing done then. I just wanted to get, like I said, I just wanted to get one contract out of the way so we could grab that bailing one before it disappears. And then we'll get on to sewing our fields. I did finish field 14 and get all the prep work done. That's why we've got some more ropes. So I think maybe in the next episode then we'll tackle the bailing contract if it's still there and we manage to pick it up. Um, and yeah, we'll sell off the bits and bobs we've got and try and make as much, much money as we can. I've still got my eye out for other tractors that are knocking about. And we'll pick those up too. I'm also thinking about, a lot of people I've said mentioned about this little strip of land that we own, about cutting the trees down. So we will do, like I said, we will do like a forestry episode. And when I say forestry, we're just going to be clearing this little plot here to my right to give us some space to put stuff down. We've got pig pens further down the road. We've got, we've got space to do more, you know? So I think that's what we'll be looking at. So what we need to do is go and check on the sewing situation. I will... I'll drive through that part. Can. Let's drive through this one. Drop this one back off. Oh, that only just about gets in there. Oh, well, maybe I need a smaller little shunting tractor. Oh, we have got the little one, haven't we? We've got the, uh, the doobly dot. We've got this one here, haven't we? Keep forgetting we've got this in here. The super tipper. Um, Right, should we grab the... So I said about doing sunflower. I say, then we'll finish off with freezing the cows, I guess. Right, let's go in here. Has this got anything in it? A little bit. Got something in that. Uh, let's switch that to sunflower. Then we'll use the other one. We'll use the cedar to do, um, to do the canola. But once we've finished doing the other jobs, this one doesn't. It's just a four row, isn't it? Really sure it's just a four row. Right. Let's get something in that. So I'm filled out from us here. Now we're not going to get a huge amount of crop, of course we're not. They're small fields. Oh, we're a small farm with small equipment. All the equipment we're going to be buying is going to be fairly small because we've only got small... How does this keep happening? I seem to spend my life just picking up road signs. And again, it wasn't me, I promise it wasn't me. <laughs> Let's get this one done. So far, so good. Let's see what I did there. I still have that, oh that's not enough oomph for that is it? We've got a lot of wheel slip there. I was hoping to get away with having a larger tractor on it. Oh. That's going to be a lot of, uh, maybe this with a valve mate on it. I thought we'd get away with it. You know? Yeah, what, what, how, how do you feel about them? I know seeding and, and planting are different things. Um, but the, also that you throw sowing in there, because it's sowing contracts. It comes up with sowing contracts. I've always kind of referred to sowing, seeding and planting all kind of, you know, interconnected in that you can use any word and it all means the same thing. I do get pulled up quite a lot when I'm doing stuff and I sell... I'm going to go out and do some seeding. Oh, technically, you're planting. So, okay. But the thing about it is that I know there are differences. But when I say that, you know what I mean. You know, it's, it's like, you know what I'm talking about. 
I think I'm, I really do think I have to swap these out. That's really frustrating. Oh well. Okay, well maybe we'll have we'll have the massive bags and we'll be there for doing our fertilising on fields and stuff and little jobs like that. Maybe this one's going to be our tractor for pallet work, for moving things around. We haven't got a skid steer load or anything like that. We could use this one for that. Then we've got the valve map, and we've got the uh, international the case. Um, yeah, the farmer Pierce tractor. Yeah. Will spin city. Boy boo. Nothing gonna do about that. We're all over the place. Wow. It would have helped if I'd turn it on, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'm just thinking, well, it seems to be going a lot easier than it was before. That's because I lowered it and didn't turn it on. Oh, that's why I should have left it to the workers. The workers know what they're doing. I quite clearly have no idea. Oh dear. Oh man, I'm starting every day with the best will in the world. And I'm sitting here thinking, I'm back to that again. Please stop. The contract will be finished soon. Swap that over. I'm going to have to. This is too painful. No, it's too, painful. <laughs> too painful to watch. Too painful to do. Sorry, I'm, I don't want to go on about it. I know, yeah. I, I just have not had the best luck since, well, just before Christmas. It's just since we're one thing after another. <sighs> just be nice to have it. Feel normal. Feel normal for a while. Wouldn't that be a lovely thing? Yep. I'm gonna finish this strip and go swap it out. I guess there's plenty of farms and plenty of farmers out there that are using seeders and equipment that are right on the limit of what their their tractors, their machinery can cope with. I, I guess that's that is probably a thing. Um, and I know oh, who was I watching recently, and they were talking about the wheel slip and they were watching the you know and saying they were they were getting slip and they were trying to work out ways around it and adding weights and that kind of stuff and. So yeah, it is a thing, but I just think if we've got a tractor that will do it easier, I guess it makes sense, doesn't it? I just don't want to get to that point where I'm just, just using the Valmet and the, um, the case all the time, you know? Actually, we can use this for the... Um... Can I get around there? Oh, that was close. Yeah, we'll use this for the feed mixing. Why not? Contract on field 8 is complete. Right, we'll switch that over. We'll have to check the seed situation. Right, let's move that out of the way. We'll get that done later on. There's going to be a lot of throwing small bales into there. Unfortunately, it's the downside of doing small bales. Yes, you can lift them, although there is the liftable bales mod now, which there wasn't when I first started doing all this. Um, But it's finding a baler that, that will run on small enough equipment. That being said, now we've got the we've got the voucher, the Valmet, and we've got the uh, the case. We probably could have got away with a large baler, but it's what was here on the farm when I arrived. I'm just utilising what's here already.
Oh, that's the other thing we're going to need to do. We need to roll it. Do we have rollers available? Do we have a, an inexpensive roller that we can use? Oh, yeah, I've got these installed, haven't I? 2,500 for a four meter roller that only requires 35 horsepower. Do you want accessories? Should really have those, but that's an extra 300. <laughs> Should really. Stickers, that extra 50 quid on for stickers. That's outrageous. Uh, main colour, what should we go with? Do we go with green? Let's do that. What's that going to set us back? 2,900 for a four metre roller. Let's buy it. I'm making an executive decision. We've got ourselves a roller. Right, uh, turn that on, drop that down. That's better. I'll say that. It's the seed that particularly horrendous for. Yeah, we'll slip on this as well. Just, I mean, that how that one's got a fair bit of horsepower. Hang on, let's check this. This is this is doing me a din. Um, what's our horsepower requirement of that planter? 100 horsepower. We've got more than 100 horsepower. I mean, to be fair, only just, but we have got... Actually, you know what I'll do? Uh, let's check the cedar. What's the requirement on that? 60 horsepower. You know what we'll do? You know what we'll do? I'm going to let him get going. Her get going. Uh, I'm going to swap them over. We'll swap the tractors. We need the larger tractor on the planter and one with less horsepower on the cedar. We'll swap them over. I'll bring the international back over. I'm going to get on with those. I'm going to get this seeded. Um, and then what we'll do is... Yeah, we'll um, complete on this contract when we get up to the tractor. We'll take on the baling one. We then need to move over to here, but I'll swap the tractors over. So we've got a, a better tractor for each particular piece of sewing planting seeding equipment how much have we used oh, not too bad not too bad uh, field what's the next one complete collect uh, bailing accept contract oh no we want to borrow items don't we is there enough room in the no space for contract vehicles. Hang on a minute. I'm sure somebody said that was an issue. Oh, is that what's part of part of what's changed? Is oh no. Nine's across the way, so field seven. That's also barley. So we don't have to do anything with that. Uh, field seven is this one, isn't it? Yeah. And then nine's oats, isn't it? We'll leave that here for the moment. We might need to fill that up in a minute. Let's drop that off. Oops, should have loaded that first. Right, so like I say, get a few bits done. Um, I'll get these sewn. We're going to put, as we're doing, sunflower in our first field. I'm going to put canola in this field just here. And then field 14 down the bottom, I'm not too sure yet. Our grass fields are growing again, so that's all good. I was thinking of buying another grass field, maybe and cutting a load and just doing it for silage then selling the silage at the biogas plant that way we'll make a bit of money just for, for having grass I, I think that might be a, a way to go and then we'll need to grab the roller and um, we'll get all of these rolled and then we'll have our fields ready to go and then it'll be turning our attention to other jobs sorry drop that do that do that That'll work better, having the right tractor on the right piece of equipment will make all the difference, I hope. This should pull this without even thinking about it. Right, let's go with that. Whoosh. Ah! 
That's better. It just came up, same contract on field 7 is 60% complete. I don't think it's going to run out of seed. I've decided I'm going to do sunflower in both. So I've taken the tractor over. We're doing sunflower in our other field. 14, I haven't quite decided what we're going to do yet. Uh, this does say it needs lime. I didn't do any liming. I completely forgot. But the roller I've bought over, I moved the slurry spreader and I moved the roller that we'd purchased um, because I didn't have enough room for putting in the baling stuff. Once I moved that, clicked on that contract to borrow equipment, it all went in, no problem at all. So it wasn't a problem to do with the map or anything like that, it just there was stuff in there already. Um, so this will need to be rolled, and then we'll roll the other field as well. When the contract to field 7 is complete, we'll then switch it on with oats, take it over to field 9, and we'll get that contract done. So, as I said I was going to do, this one's been a little bit longer than the usual thing, isn't it? I'm going to, hopefully, <laughs> well, let's see how this works out. Get some total mixed ration made for the cows. Now, because my silage is made, this is a 12,000 litre feed mixer. Split that down. I want 3,000 litres. This can be interesting. 3,000 litres of silage. Um, hmm. uh, okay, that's good. I know I can. A little bit of time should be alright. Do it again. I know it seems a bit ridiculous, but perfect, 3009, which means I'm going to need, because these are 300 litre bales, aren't they? <laughs> this is going to be interesting. I'm going to need 10 straw bales. I'm starting to wonder now whether or not I would have been better off doing it all loose, you know, rather than bales. Maybe next time round we'll do it loose. Um, well, that, let me just put it in there. It will do, but probably shouldn't do. Maybe I could throw them in. Did I throw them in? It's not going right over the top. <laughs> I need a ramp. <laughs> what about from here? It's like basketball. Boom, in. I'm losing count. <laughs> Oh, it's going right through the side, okay. That's nine. 
that's 10, so we should have... No. What? Are the straw bales a different size? Oh, they're 400 litres! The hay is 300. Oh, you muppet. Put much, too much straw in. Okay, well basically then, the rest I've got to pad out with hay and hope I get a Tomis ration. Uh, that's the one I want. Oh, I've got to hope that the hay does this. <laughs> that's not good. Oh, it's because I, I came over. I thought I'll, I'll double check before I start. Bowser are 300 litres. It's going to work really well. Ah. <sighs> Dearing me, okay. Well, not much else I can do now. I'm not happy about the fact that bells are going through the side of the thing, but obviously it'll make life a little bit easier if it didn't. So I'm thrashing, but I was hoping to just drop them in. Yeah, so I'm wondering now whether or not to do what I'm doing now, but off camera, and um, just shred everything. So rather than have the bales um, sitting here, come off camera and just put bales in there, 12,000 litres, let them shred it and then put it into the silo, do the same with the hay, then I can do it all loose, maybe, oh, I don't know, how are we looking? <laughs> I'm not sure we're going to do this. This is not how this was supposed to go. At all. Let's get that one. Why didn't I do that in the first place? Yeah, this was not... This was supposed to be... You're better than this, Mr. CNP. Anywho. So I thought I'm going to do 20 of these. I've got too much straw in here now, and I only end up with forage and not total mixed ration. I'm going to be so frustrated. I'm looking. Oh no, we're not going to do it. It's just too much straw. I've got enough room for one. Oh no. I've no mucked it up. On, please just just do it for me. No. No. This is just what I need right now. Nope. We did not achieve total mixed ration. Which means I'm gonna have to empty these out. One at a time, I think. Will it do that, or is it just going to empty ours? And then I have to spend some time with a bucket and put it all back in. Do I do it on the field where I can see what I'm doing? Probably. So annoying. So it is unloading. Okay. Stop unloading. Will it do the same into the silo? Or does the silo take forage? <sighs> Tiny error like that. Small little thing. Just didn't check both sets of bales. Did one. Thought I was being really smart. and then fluffed it up. Now, why would it not unload the straw first? If it had done the straw first, I could have just unloaded a bit of straw and put a bit of hay back in. Of course, it wouldn't do that, would it? Well, this end bit hasn't gone quite to plan. We were supposed to do the top mix ration and get the cows fed. Job done. And on this disaster, which I'm now going to hopefully sort out, I will get some top mix ration made. We are great. Sewing is being done. We'll check the contract now here as well. 
Uh, there, how are we looking? 88% complete. Got that one there to do. The bailing one we will do later. Sewing will move over and do that. There's a few other contracts have popped up. So we'll continue to make a bit of money. I think I may end up just doing this all loose, you know. So do the same here. Just I'm, I'm taking it all out as just forage. Because if it is, we're in trouble. I'm not sure what's up in the moment. I don't normally have this problem. Why am I left with bales? Oh dear. Right, so like I say, on that absolute nightmare. I think this is where we're going to end. I'm just thinking now we've ended up putting... If I click under this down it says forage, I will just cry. I've got loads of tidying up to do now, I should have saved it before I did all this, just in case anything went horribly wrong. Um, silage, forage, no, forage zero. Did that unload all of that as... There's no silage in here. Did I put that all out as hay? <laughs> I'm just off to cry now. I hope you found this useful. No, I hope you've enjoyed the episode, not found this useful and informative, because it hasn't been at all, has it? Let's be honest. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Even if it's just to watch my woes and catastrophes. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest as a guide what not to do. <laughs> Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.